Yo, it's Mo, what's up, guys? And today I have part three of my MLB 13 The Show wish list. I've already put out part one, 1 1.5, which was a continuation of part one, and part two. And so I'm going to show part three today um, because I've compiled about five, ten, about 15 ideas. And I want to share them with you because I'm assuming that the Sony creators are beginning to work on MLB 13 the show. Hopefully if they've seen my first few wish lists, I left them on a thread on um, Operation Sports, and so I hope they've seen them, and hopefully they might come to my channel and see this part too while they're working on it, because these are some lesser projects, projects that I, do that I don't think would take up a lot of time, things that they could just kind of throw in that would add just a lot more realism to the game, because if you know me, I've said this before, I am all about the realism. And so let's get started. I already wasted a minute. Number one, pressure of the press. And by this, I mean if you play in Boston with the Red Sox, or if you play in New York with the Yankees, there's a lot more pressure from the fans, the media, the press, than there is in playing in, let's say, Kansas City with the Royals, or in Minnesota with the Twins. And so, as a player, maybe you could even have like an attribute for this, where it's like kind of different than a clutch rating, but like a pressure rating, where you can perform under a lot of pressure when it's not a clutch situation. Like, let's say you're playing against the Yankees and you're on the Red Sox, and it's like two outs, nobody on base. That's not really a clutch rating sort of thing, but with all the fans uh, cheering for you or even against you in the stands if you're playing at Yankee Stadium, or like the media uh, basically on you on every pitch, maybe you could have an attribute for like pressure. How you handle pressure and then like maybe have a teammate chemistry sort of thing, or like a personal chemistry sort of thing, where it's like it goes up and down depending on how you handle pressure. You know, it's just <laughs> something small that I thought of that might be pretty cool. Something that's a big problem. Realistic injuries. In one of my more recent Mets franchise videos, I showed a game where we were playing against the Phillies. And in one of the at-bats, it was right after Brandon McCarthy got hit in the head. It was like a week after. But during one of the at-bats, Vance Worley was pitching. He threw a pitch and I hit it back and it hit him square off the head. He fell to the ground, third baseman couldn't make the play. So the trainers come out, they talk to him, he's on one knee, and then all of a sudden the next batter comes up and Vance Worley is still in the game. I mean it's not like it was a ground ball off his leg or something, it was a hard line drive to his head. and. This has happened once where I hit AJ Burnett in the head and he had a skull fracture. But, you know, it's not very realistic to have a pitcher stay in the game if he gets hit square off the head. And some more realistic injuries, that would be pretty cool. Um, something that would be pretty cool also would be um, different sort of celebrations. So, like, when I hit a home run, maybe show, like, more fan reaction from it. Uh, because I know when I'm watching Mets games, let's say Ike Davis hits a home run, you really do see the fans interacting, cheering, getting up, and basically showing their support because the home team got a home run. Um, so better celebrations from not only the players but also the fans, that would be great. Also handshakes. Handshakes is a big thing because, well, you used to see Ryan Braun and Prince Fielder do his thing. Uh, do their thing where they would do like the punching thing uh, they would do all sorts of hand motions and then I think it was Fielder pretended to punch Braun but he ducked it was a very 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 cool handshake and then also Robbie Cano with the Yankees as much as I don't like him he has some really cool handshakes with people and seeing handshakes maybe you could even customize a handshake or there would be like a set list I think that would be pretty cool to pick one you know after you hit a home run or make a great play or something something else in-game highlights of other games and this would be very cool 
because if I'm in a pennant race late in September and I'm up by one game uh, against, let's say I'm the Reds and I'm up one game over the Cardinals and the Cardinals are playing a team and we're losing and if the Cardinals win they would tie for first place. So in the sixth inning maybe have a sort of a highlight reel where it shows the Cardinals like losing 6-2 to two, or just break sort of you know just like breaking news in the middle of the game maybe Vaskersen or hopefully a new announcer uh, <laughs> will say like and as we get closer to the finish of this game we see the St. Louis Cardinals losing by two and so this game would not affect the outcome of the standings if the Reds were to lose as well. You know, something like that where maybe it would be, you know, just add a little bit more pressure for us to win. Or, you know, I just think it'd be pretty cool because I know that happens in real life. I know I said in one of my previous wish lists to have surprise teams, but how about surprise players as well? Like, Ari Dickey, be honest. Who saw him doing this well coming into the season? I know I didn't, and I'm even a Mets fan, but Dickey has been a huge shock for me. And basically the entire A's team, you know, Jared Parker has been fantastic. And, you know, other players have some surprise players sometimes. That would be, you know, it would just add some realism because every year there's at least three or four or even more surprise players in each league, it seems. Something that I've noticed or haven't noticed rather is bloop singles and I've been watching the playoffs a lot and I've seen a lot of bloop singles and you know whether it's reaching out for a ball and making contact just over the second baseman's head or if it's getting jammed and just shooting it over the shortstop's head you know bloop singles I really have not seen any of them in the show ever actually and so, you know, maybe some better bat physics, because I know sometimes the ball goes through the bat. Next, less hustle, or maybe a hustle attribute. I see Jimmy Rollins jogging down the first base line. I see any other player. When he hits a ground ball to the second baseman, he's barely running it out. But there are other players that always run balls out no matter where they're hit whether it's to the first baseman back to the pitcher on a strike three in the dirt they're always running but like I said other players never run and so maybe for like a my player not my player but a road to the show have an attribute for hustle and the lower the attribute is the less you'll hustle to first base versus the higher it is the better you'll hustle to first base the faster you will um, and then other than that Give me a few more minutes on the home screen. Um, when I'm making videos, it's really annoying to exit out of games. It takes like two minutes for games to automatically start. Make it like five minutes or so because if, if I wanted to play or watch an exhibition game, I would just click exhibition and put the controller in the middle and just watch a game. <laughs> and just a couple more things. After seeing the D-backs, A's, and Marlins complete a three-way trade, it got me basically noticing that in MLB The Show, you can only do two-way trades, where it's like, I trade Dickey for AJ Burnett. But it would be really cool if I could trade Dickey, AJ Burnett, and then involve a team like, I don't know, the Giants also, and have like Sandoval in that deal too, where I would get Sandoval, they'd get Dickey, and the other team would get the other player, I don't remember anymore, but you know, three-way trades, maybe even four-way trades, uh, I know like the Adrian Gonzalez deal, I think that was a three or four team trade, I don't remember exactly, there was one pretty big trade where there were several teams involved, and then crowding the plate and retaliation, crowding the plate, you know, to just get on base, maybe you'll get hit by a ball, you know. It's just something that I see sometimes in real life, and you know, they stick their elbow out, get hit, take one for the team, and that'd be pretty cool to see if you could crowd the plate. Maybe you could even move your strike zone around, but the strike zone itself would stay. You know, like your zones would move, but the strike zone would stay, so if you swing on an inside, uh, on an inside fastball, but you're crowding the plate, you would miss it, because your zone wouldn't be the same as the strike zone. And then retaliation, you know, basically, you know what that means. 
if I'm pitching with Chris Carpenter and I am playing against the Giants and I hit Sandoval, maybe Matt Cain will retaliate and hit Matt Holliday in the next inning or something. You know, retaliation, it's it's a pretty entertaining part of the game, and it would be really entertaining if it could be implemented in MLB 13, the show. Guys, I am so excited for MLB 13, the show, and I hope you are too. Just a quick question, or a quick thing rather, leave below who you would like to see me do a franchise with in MLB 13, the show. This is kind of an informal question because I will release a video in a few months asking which team I should be and having a few options for you guys to choose. But, you know, just leave a preliminary team. Like, if you want to see the Mets franchise continued on an MLB 13 The Show, leave that below. If you want to see, like, the Blue Jays, leave that. The A's, the Mariners, the Rangers. I don't really care who it is. Please leave it below. But anyway, guys, that's it. Oh yeah, one more quick thing. Shout out to Gimme Dat Cod, G I M M E D A T C O D on Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter uh, because this was actually a shout out thing that I was doing. Uh, they had to guess who I signed into my Mets franchise, which of course was Big Poppy, David Ortiz, and I gave some hints and I said the first person to guess it would get a shout out in a video. And so there's your shout out, Gimme Dat Cod. And if you're watching this, leave below that you heard it because that, that'd be pretty cool. And also, please follow me on Twitter because I'm always on Twitter. Always updating, putting out video schedules, and of course, sometimes even doing like little shout-out things like I just did. But anyway, for real this time, Modifo16 signing out. Come give me a sub. Give this video a like. Follow me on Twitter, at Modifo16. And if you know a way for me to contact MLB The Show people... Other than Operation Sports, le please leave that below too, because I really want them to see my wish list. Because, you know, not for me, because I'm not selfish, <laughs> but just for the general, you know, because I feel like my ideas are good. And if you noticed, I even I've even added some of your ideas in these wish lists. And so, if you don't have a YouTube channel, but you have ideas for MLB the Show, leave them below, and I will definitely say them in the video so hopefully MLB 13 the show creators can look at them uh, look at these videos and hopefully implement some of these great ideas that's my hope anyway I don't know if it'll happen but thanks for watching anyway guys see you next time peace